We are back. You are chatting with John P. Today, we are going to be talking about whether or not you should purchase a watch new or pre-owned within the context of being in the year 2019. I did a video, I think a year ago, that was very similar, but in 2019, the watch market is doing some unique things, and I'd like to make this video as a refresher, but also to help those that are just getting into watch collecting, because here at Delray Watch, we really like to help those that are getting into watches, those that like to expand their knowledge with watches, as well as those that just like to come back for more. So here we are, and let's talk about it. First, I'd like to thank you for coming back once again. I really do appreciate it. Do not forget to like and subscribe. You've been a big help so far, and I do appreciate this going forward. And of course, do not forget to check out Delray Watch. We just got in this vintage Seamaster. Now, if you're not familiar with this reference, there'll be a picture here. You can also check it out at our website. Uh, but basically, Basically, this watch is the original to the Omega Seamaster 1948 that was somewhat recently released. And sure, it uh, was another watch that is vintage inspired, but this is actually the original. And this reference particularly has started to dry up because of this, you know, modern take on the vintage watch and it's not it's something that's not only happening in omega with this watch but other watches across the board so check that one out you might find it interesting and of course instagram the real john p where you can find me the quickest so watches in the watch market we have new watches we have pre-owned watches we have gray market watches that are unworn but you know they they come from unauthorized dealers so in the context of this video, I'm going to consider a watch that's new as being a watch coming from an authorized dealer or boutique or the brand directly, and a watch that's used as being a watch that is actually pre-owned, it's used, someone owned it, and someone likely wore it, but not necessarily. And for this video, I'm going to be excluding the gray market out there because in terms of talking about the the, the talking points that we, we will mention here, it's just not entirely relevant. So I'll do another video on gray market 2019 updates. So first, let's just jump in the brands that I think that you should buy brand new. And this is something that even when someone calls us here at Del Rey, we have no problem telling them because we want you to be happy. So right away, Rolex sports watches. If you can get them brand new in 2019 and probably even 2020, you should buy them brand new from the, from the boutique or the authorized dealer if you can get them. Now, they have become pretty difficult to get, you know, such as a Daytona, a Submariner, the versions of it. it. They can be difficult to get, but if you can get one, buy it. Not only is it going to be worth much more than you paid, probably um, it's also going to be a much better price because they trade more in the secondhand market, interestingly enough. So that's the first one. Getting into the Datejust, yeah, if the price difference is not that big, something like a Datejust 41, why not pay the extra few percent, get it brand new, support your local dealer. That's always something that's very nice. And maybe they'll call you with a Daytona. But when you start branching out some older models that they don't make anymore, some more models where maybe you just don't have the choice, you might just have to buy one pre-owned. And that's okay too, because there really are a lot of great watchmakers and expert watch refinishers that can make it look brand new if that's what you're into. Now this brand, it's a bit out of reach or certainly out of reach for I would say most people in the watch community, but those that are into the high-end watches with high-end price points, of course that comes along with super high-end watches, Richard Mille. Now recently I went to, to the Bell Harbor Boutique and they had almost nothing in stock. Now they had some ladies pieces and some a little bit less desirable pieces, but generally, you know, the core makeup of their product lineup was completely gone and what they did have there they didn't they almost didn't even want you to be touching it or looking at it they have a really interesting way that they kind of handle their watches you can't take pictures and it's something that they're developing with their brand but if you can get a richard mill brand new you probably should right there's some models they don't make anymore and there's some models you just can't get because you need to be on certain lists or you need to you know perhaps buy a mclaren when the mclaren version came out so you don't have a lot of choice but if you're into richard mill this is a brand you probably should buy brand new from Richard Meal, and there's some other interesting topics that kind of relate to this. You know, certain Richard Meal models, the pattern is unique on the case. So, you know, if you start trading these watches and you get it pre-owned, sometimes the brands get a little bit upset when some of the ultra rare Richard Meals get into hands that are not the people that purchase them. 
Personally, I think that gets into a little bit of a brand snobbery, but that's just where certain brands are today. And so once again, Richard Mille is a brand I think you should get brand new if you can find one. Now this one, this next one, everyone's going to get it. Patek Philippe, especially with their Nautilus line, now branching into their Aquanaut line. Not only is the watch going to be worth more the same second that you purchase it, if you can, once again, very, very high demand, much higher than any of the stainless steel sports Rolex models. Um, you, you know, there's a certain, there's just a certain feeling that comes along with buying a, pa a Patek Philippe from an authorized dealer. Now that's not important to everyone, but for many, Patek Philippe, they really represent a pinnacle in someone's watch collecting career or even a career in general or a point in life where, you know, something about the experience really is to be said. And that goes for Patek Philippe and even other brands branching across to your personal preference, but that's what they're known for. So when you start getting into the Patek Philippe's that are in demand, the difference is, is going to be negligible, pre-owned than new, if you can get one new, and it might even be cheaper to get it new. Now, that's not all of their watches. Some of their watches are not in demand at all. Um, some of their Calatravas, while being great watches, are not in the most demand. So something like that could be a really great buy pre-owned. But once again, you know, as watch geeks, we all know, we all know where to shop. We all know where to look around for pricing. So do what you feel comfortable with. And that's always sound advice as well. This one, this next one, you might not think of but this is something I recommend all the time with Delray watch. Um, if a, a watch is generally extremely approachable, relatively speaking in watches, something like a, 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 the Hamilton brand watch or a Tissot or, or, or a Swatch or something along those lines, something sub thousand dollars, oftentimes it really kind of just financially makes sense when you consider that the watch is brand new as well just to buy it brand new. I mean, the difference sometimes pre-owned to brand new is going to be a few hundred dollars if it's a thousand dollar retail price watch. Maybe you spring for it, you get it brand new, you get, you know, you get a, a feeling of opening something brand new. And so if, you know, when we're talking about a difference of a few hundred dollars, why not? Uh, you know, there's many times where I'd say, you know, just get it brand new. It's, you get the whole experience. And that's, there, once again, there's something to be said about that sometimes. And if it's not costing you much to do that, Go for it. That's a good one. So the more approachable brands oftentimes recommend those new. Um, now this one, once again, sometimes alienating, but super high-end independent watch brands such as F.P. Journe, Kerry Voodalainen, so on and so forth. These brands, they almost trade like pieces of art, right? There's certain collectors that deal and they collect and generally at that level, a lot of people know what's available on the market. You, you're not going to go to Chrono 24. You're not going to go to eBay and see all of these brands. You might see them on there, but for you to, you know, see a lot of Kerry Voodalainen's or FP Journe's when you get into some other even higher end pieces, they're just not floating around, right? These are brands that oftentimes, you know, the collectors don't want the pictures circling around. They, they're made in smaller volumes when you talk about the, the special versions of these watches. So, if you're into something like that, you know, get it brand new if you can. Develop the relationship with those brands or whoever's dealing in them. And it's always advisable to do that. Once again, can be difficult to get those watches sometimes. So pre-owned may be where you have to go. But there's ways to make sure you're getting a good deal and a good watch still with good quality and, of course, authentic and from a reputable place. So new if you can, but not always possible. And lastly, if you're the person that just has to have a watch model on the day or the day after it comes out, for example, you know, a watch gets talked about in Hodinkee or a blog to watch or any of the other places and you say, I have to get this watch, I'm a big collector. Well, you just sometimes you just don't have any other choice and pre-owned watches the watches are usually sourced from collectors like us. We trade, we get into newer, cooler things we like more. What can you do? You, they're, they're not available pre-owned. You have to buy new. So you'll pay a premium because new, new watches that just come out are rarely discounted, but sometimes. So depending what it is, like if you saw my previous video about the Alpine Eagle by Chopart, I bet you could probably get a pretty steep discount. In fact, I know you can, and it recently just came out. So that's a decent example, but you won't find one pre-owned. So that's that. Now, when we talk about new watches, in my experience, there are certain collectors that have 
certain expectations. And aside from the brands and models that you should buy new, there are certain expectations. Now, I'll also talk about brands that you probably should buy pre-owned. In fact, you almost certainly should if you can look past these next few details. Now, first, if you just have to be the guy to get that new car smell, you like the smell of the leather on the strap, you like the smell of, you know, freshly printed paper in your watch box, I'm not judging. There's there's people that like that. You just like the, the feeling and the smell and there's just something about that. You have to buy brand new. Pre-owned can be very high condition, very high quality, manufacturer refurbished, secondary dealer refurbished. We refurbish all the time. But if you like that new car smell, you know, you can't buy a pre-owned car. So that's the first one. And, and a lot of these guys do exist. Leave in the comments below if this is you. Once again, not judging. I think it's interesting. And I certainly hold a lot of respect to those guys because they always stay so true to their beliefs in that. Um, and also... If necessarily price is not the most important thing for you, but you like experiences, you're an experience driven person and not necessarily the most price sensitive, you have to go to a boutique. You have to go to an AD. Pre-owned dealers, they can they can they can only do so much online. With us at Del Rey, we only do so much, and of course I'm biased, but I'll 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 be the first to tell you if you like the champagne experience, if you like your hand being held and you like sitting in the store and there's pretty sales girls there and you like the experience and you know, going out and getting dinner afterwards. Well, the, you, you just have to buy the new watch. You have to go to an authorized dealer or a boutique. There's fabulous places you can go. For example, in Miami, there's the design district. In New York, there's ample amounts of boutiques. And of course, on the West Coast, there's plenty of authorized dealers as well. So that's what you have to do. Um, you have to walk in and go to a store. Now, when we consider this, you know, those are watches I always recommend. Buy these brand new if you need those experiences or you need any of those brands or specific models. But if you like a good deal and you don't mind having something reconditioned and you like to wear your watches and you like to collect and trade, I always recommend pre-owned. Even before here, when, when, when we were trading watches here, I was always buying pre-owned watches for a couple of reasons. But the number one reason is when we talk about watches as a hobby, value really becomes important, right? And if you buy a new watch, most brands, they lose value. But if you buy a pre-owned watch and you buy it right at a good price, a competitive price, you're not going to lose value. So if you go, you trade it in, you like this watch, you want to get into another watch and, you know, we call them flippers. You're, you know, habitual, you like to get in new things, try them out. There's just no other way about it without absolutely losing the bank. So pre-owned is great for that. Some brands that I was always drawn to that I think delivered the most value in pre-owned, Gerard Perigo. I mean, we're talking 20 cents on the dollar you can buy them at, and they hold relatively relatively in line with that point. Depending on the model, of course, and the age, the, the watches generally lose value as time goes on, but only in larger amounts. So if you were to buy it, give it five years, it's going to be worth a little bit less, but you wore it for so long and you're not going to take a bath if you bought that watch brand new at retail and then wanted to trade it and get something else. So the same can be said about Ulysse Narden. They've got watches that were produced in the early 2000s that have very interesting and great complications, some split second chronographs that you can get pre-owned for a few thousand dollars like the Ulysse Narden, I believe it's the Ber Berlin series picture here, a couple versions of that split second chronograph. I mean, where can you get one of those for a few thousand dollars besides pre-owned on the internet? Retail was probably 15 grand then, which today is 20, a few thousand dollars. You can't have that type of watchmaking today at that kind of price point unless you're in pre-owned. Now, a couple other brands, you know, we could run through it. We talk about them all the time in the channel, but Tudor's a great buy pre-owned if you can get it. And by the way, there were people in the comments and the Tudor video that I released that said, you know, I called um, this, I won't give the dealer name, but I called this dealer in LA and they didn't have it. I called that dealer and they told me they had it, but they had a waiting list. And if I got there, they didn't know who I was, by the way. But if I got there within the next four hours, they would sell them to me. Now, it's kind of interesting. That's that's another topic for another video, but something I just had to release there for the certain guys that were, were really questioning that specific one. So Tudor pre-owned and the list goes on and on. If you go to our website, Delray Watch, we always make sure to... to
bring value in the pre-owned space. So look at the brands there, but also look other places online, go on Chrono24. I don't recommend eBay all the time because it can be a bit of a mess, but go on there, get a good feel for it and you'll see the value. Find watches that have complications that you just can't get under 15 or $20,000 today and you'll find them in the three to $6,000 price point, no problem. Look at alarms, look at split second chronographs. I mean, you can even get pre-owned tourbillons sometimes for, for way less than the retail. $120,000 watch, get it for $20,000. So do a little bit of looking around. Many of you that have been in the space for a while can certainly agree, I am sure. Leave in the comments below your favorite brands that either you like to buy new or pre-owned. I would love to hear in the comments below. And of course, I tried to be as unbiased as possible, but you know the, the spiel here. So tried to bring a little bit of extra perspective. And once again, I always recommend those brands to buy pre, uh, brand new when you can, the Rolex, the Patek Philippe, so on and so forth. So make sure to find a good AD for that as well if you're looking. So guys, let me know in the comments what you think. Don't forget to thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. I appreciate it. Instagram, the real John P. You have been chatting with John P. Ciao.